Welcome back to another episode of 7th Grade Math. This is Mr. Williams, live from a wonderful classroom, which is incredibly boring, and it's raining outside. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Your objective for this video is, as a student, you should be able to solve integer word problems. I will let you know that most of this video is going to concern itself with absolute value. Remember, absolute value is the distance... A point is from the origin, and the origin is zero. So it is the distance a number is from zero, or the distance a point is from zero. All right, you're going to need graphic organizer number three, side number one. Side number two is for the next video. So side number three is what you're going to need right now. Remember, your objective is you should be able to solve integer word problems. Okay. We're going to start with example number one. We're going to get progressively harder as we go. Number one says, yesterday I borrowed $10 from my friend. I gave her $7 today. How much do I still owe her? Now, if you guys talk about bills and allowances, which I have talked about in class and in the previous videos, if you borrow money, borrowing money is a bill, okay, because you owe somebody something. So you borrowed it, so you owe somebody. So that's a negative 10 Okay, you gave her $7 today, so you paid $7 of that back. Did you pay all of it? No, you didn't, okay? You didn't, you weren't able to pay all of it. You did give her 7 so you added $7 to her. However, you weren't able to pay her. So basically what this did is it gave me a negative 10 plus 7, which, remember, this was a bill. The plus 7 is an allowance. You have a bill of 10. You have an allowance of 7. Can you pay her? No, you can't. You're still going to owe her money, and the difference is $3. Okay, let's go on to number 2. Okay, number 2. Caden likes to go diving off the diving board in the summer. When he's standing on the diving board, he is 10 feet above the water. After he dives in, he swims 8 feet below the water. What is the total distance of Caden's dive? So, for this type of problem, we have to realize that he is going above and below the water. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on the side and I'm going to write this, this pink line. Okay, and I'm going to put zero in there to represent the water level. Okay, so the water level is at zero, or that is the sea level. Now, it says the diving board is 10 feet above the water. So let's say here's the diving board. Yay, right? Here's the diving board. And here's Caden up here at the top getting ready to jump in. Now, from here to here is 10 feet. Now, he dives in. So once he dives in, then he swims 8 feet below the water. So he gets in, and he ends up being all the way down here. Okay, so he's 8 feet below. Now, that's 8 feet. The thing is, it wants to know, what is the total distance of Caden's dive? Well, the total distance of Caden's dive is from his spot on the diving board all the way to where he swims down below. Okay, so if I take him and he dives down and goes all the way down, we need to figure out how far he went. Well, remember, this is when we use absolute value. From the diving board to zero is 10 feet, and from where he stopped swimming back up to the top of the pool is 8 feet. What's the total of those two, 10 and 8? Well, that would be 18 feet. So his total distance of his dive is 18 feet, and that is when we use absolute value. All right, example number three. It is 10 degrees Fahrenheit in Goshen and negative 21 in Antarctica. What is the difference in temperature between the two locations? Now, this is where things get a little tricky because this says difference, and a lot of you go to like, oh man, I need to subtract. Well, kind of, but not, it's easier to think about it in a different way, okay? Once again, I'm going to put my number line and zero. That's zero degrees, okay? It's 10 degrees Fahrenheit in Goshen, so let's go put 10 degrees. 10 degrees, and that's Goshen, yay! And negative 21 degrees in Antarctica. Woo, negative 21. And it says, what's the difference? Well, in this particular case, the difference is actually the distance between the two of these, okay? The distance between the two temperatures, which is not 11 degrees. There's no way, okay? So a lot of people would take negative 21 or 10 and subtract 10. Well, that's not what's going to work, okay? We're going to talk about the distance between these two temperatures. So how far does it need to travel to reach the other one? So negative 21 needs to go all the way to zero, which is 21 spots, and then it needs to also go to 10, which is another 10. So 21 plus 10 means it is a 31 degree. That means that there's a 31 degree difference, and that's what we're working on. Okay, once again, absolute value. It's the distance both of those are from zero, and you put them together. 
Moving on, example number four. If it works, there we go. I wanted to plant, I should say I wanted to plant a tree in my backyard. After the tree was planted, its height was 18 feet tall. In order to plant the tree, I had to dig six feet below the ground. What is the height of the tree? So let's make some ground. Here's the ground, and we're going to say that's at zero. And it says the tree okay, is 18 feet tall. So that means from here, to, from the ground to the top is 18 feet. But it said in order to plant the tree, I had to dig six feet below the ground. So in order to plant the tree, I had to put all these roots in here, right? You know, I had to plant these roots, and all these roots came down here. Okay, and those came down six feet. So, how tall is the tree altogether? And that's really what this question is asking us. Okay, what is the total height of the tree? Well, we have to go from bottom to the top because, remember, this tree has a system of roots underneath. Okay? It doesn't just sit on top. It actually has something going underground. So, we take the 16, or the 6, and the 18, and we add those together, and that would give us 24 feet. That is the height of the tree. Now, we only get to see 18 feet of it because six of it's on the ground, but it's still a total height of 24 feet. All right. Now, you guys have two to try on your own. On your graphic organizer, I'd like you to just pause this video and try these two questions. In just a second, I will come back and make sure that you have them right. This is for you to self-check yourself. All right. Get started now. Okay, this one said write and solve an expression for each of the following. That's a little bit different than what I wanted. Okay, all I want you to do is be able to solve it. The top of a house with a lake is 40 feet high. The bottom of the lake is 15 feet. What is the difference between the top of the house and the bottom of the lake? So in this particular case, what I would do is I would do once again another drawing. We have a 40-foot house. So this house sits up here, and then there's a lake. Okay, and this lake is, you know, a kind of a deep lake. All right. Now this house sits 40 feet high. Now, what's that 40 feet from? Well, it's from the top of the lake, so the lake is zero. It also said, though, that the lake is 15 feet deep, so from here to here is 15 feet. Okay. Wants to know the difference, or what we'd say, the distance between the top of the house and the bottom of the lake. So that means from up here all the way down here. Okay. So that 15 feet below is 15 feet below sea level, so that's a really a negative 15. So we need to go from 40 to negative 15 and figure out the total distance. Well, 40 feet from the top of the lake to 40, that's 40 spots. And from the lake to the bottom of the lake is another 15. And 40 and 15, you should have had 55 feet. Okay. We've got one more to do. I'm going to go ahead and erase my crappy drawing because, once again, Mr. Williams is definitely not an art teacher. There's a reason he teaches math. And, of course... The spelling in this PowerPoint also would explain why he's not a language arts teacher. Let's move on. You were swimming with a friend. Nope, we're swimming, so we're going to have a pool. So let's draw our little our pool or our lake. There we go. And that's at zero degrees because that's sea level. You dive six feet below the surface, so we're going to dive. Woo, we dive. We're six feet below. That means negative six. Your friend is standing on the diving board five feet above. So oh, here's your friend standing up here, and that's five feet. Okay, so we're going to have five feet up here. And it wants to know, what is the vertical distance? And vertical means straight up and down. What's the distance between you and your friend? Well, this negative six to zero is six feet, and then from zero to five is another five feet. So six and five makes 11 feet. So that should have been your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, you have these two as an exit ticket. Please show these to Mr. Williams when you complete them. Don't worry about writing and solving an expression. Just get the answer, please. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after this, you do have a quick worksheet. Good luck.